Hey everyone, it is Thursday, June 1st. I cannot believe that June is already here. That means it's the end of the school year. Yes. May flew by. Our students have been working on this massive career project for the last four weeks. They had to choose a career, research that career, fill out an outline, write an essay, and create a project board. Today, they are presenting those project boards to the entire school. We are going to set up each fifth grade class in the gymnasium. The whole school is invited, and they will just snake through getting to see all of the different projects and our students are going to be talking about their careers to pre-k all the way to the fourth graders i wish i could have vlogged tuesday and wednesday of this week monday we were off for memorial day tuesday and wednesday were a bit chaotic so that's why i didn't get to i really wish i had because it would have been really good stuff but really we were just working on the career projects um, but it would have been cool to do a time lapse i just obviously can't film the students so i'm going to show you their projects today and you'll get to see the difference between those that spend the time um, asking questions and making sure it's right and making sure it's good to compare to those that don't. And that's all I'm going to say about that. It's been a stressful week. I have a lot going on in my life right now that I actually can't tell you guys yet. On Tuesday, we had a LuLaRoe fundraiser for our Relay for Life team. It went very well. We invited one other team member and another girl at our school that sells LuLaRoe. So there were three consultants there and it really went very well. I mean, I can't say anything else about it. So I actually have to go inside and help set up tables. I will catch you guys later and I want to show you guys their projects. Bye! It's actually not that bad, but all of their boards are here. I'm very excited for them to present. I do have one, two students that need to finish this morning. Nope, three students. I do have three students that need to finish this morning, so they have about a half an hour to eat breakfast and get their entire boards done. And it's a pretty lengthy process, so I hope they get it done in time. I really do. Boards are 50 points, so. Hopefully this goes well. Okay, so I don't know what your policy is at your school on teacher evaluations, but ours is called SLOW, Student Learning Objectives. And we have to pick two SLOWs at the beginning of the year. We get reevaluated in the middle of the year, and that's where we go over whether or not we're gonna meet our benchmark, whatever. And then my principal told me that she didn't want me to change it. She knew I was gonna hit it. And I'm going over my scores right now because I do have a slow meeting. It was supposed to be today, but I just got my scores this morning. So I'm trying to get all that paperwork settled just in case it's tomorrow. Um, so my meeting is soon, I don't know when. And I hit my first slow, which I made it where my students would increase um, one reading level using our um, reading curriculum. Like we use a different reading curriculum. If you see my past video, I mentioned Erla the independent reading level assessment that's it's not a curriculum but that's our program there we go um and i just my target for my other slow was that in june 65 percent of my students will score a 60 or better on the county post reading test 65.2 percent of my students scored a 60 or better yes like I feel like I should have changed it mid-year to about 60% of my students would hit that target um, because at the time, mid-year, let's see, I wrote mid-year that only 57% of my students would hit that target. So only 57% of my students in December scored a 60 or a better. Today, 65% of my students scored a 60 or better. Like, I'm over the moon. I am over the moon i just screamed my team teacher probably heard me like today is a great day today is a really great day like it just reassures me that like i am a good teacher one of my weaknesses is that i'm really critical of myself and i've been told that all five years that i've been teaching all my entire administration um both of them that i've had have told me that i'm critical of myself um i am a confident teacher but i am hard on myself and that's what I think makes me better than my best so I'll take that <laughs> oh my gosh. the day is over career museum went very well I'm super proud of my kids although it's an exhausting day I am super pumped that it's over I think it's so funny that students love this day because they know they don't have to do any work however standing there all day and presenting their projects to their guests and the other grade levels it's exhausting and they don't realize how tiring it actually is so every year it's so funny to see that they're so excited for it 
And then by like the second hour, they're already complaining and wanting to sit down. So we had our pre-K students come in first thing from 8.30 to 9. Our students went to specials from 9 to 9.45. From 9.45 to 12.30, they saw first, second, third, fourth grade classes come in and they snaked through the gym and they saw all the projects. And then we ended up having a fire drill after lunch and recess, which was the weirdest thing. Um, at the end of the day, our last PM pre-K students were able to come through and like some staff members came through, both my parents and boyfriend came. So I'm really thankful for that. I think it's nice for family members to come and be a part of a teacher's life and to see what we're working on in our classrooms and to show, kind of show off like what we're doing. So I am actually cleaning up my room a little bit. We are told to discard our calendar math. Um, I'm going through some of my materials. I actually just threw all of my crayons and colored pencils away because I'm not keeping them. I will hopefully replenish them, or I won't, but my students will replenish them next year. And we were able to get our assignments for next year. So I have some thoughts to think about with that tonight. Um, I cannot announce it until it's official. So we you won't be hearing from me about that. Um, we have to get our textbooks into the media center sometime. Hopefully tomorrow, soon, I don't know. Um, I do have to go through my materials. I'm gonna take a lot of it home with me, I think, so that I can put them in new bins. I went to Dollar General yesterday. See, I should have vlogged yesterday. Our new Dollar General that I'm so excited for went there yesterday and bought um, a massive gray bin for me to put a lot of this stuff in so I can just put it in one bin, carry it on a dolly, or roll it on a dolly out to my car and just be done. Um, I think I can do that. And then I was buying Sterilite bins because I do need to replenish like these, um, these like $1 staples bins. Yeah, they didn't last, but they got me through. I mean, some of them did last. The, the one that has the scissors in that lasted, which I'm really surprised about because my kids use scissors to almost like twice a week, three times a week. I don't know. We did a lot of cutting and pasting, which was fun, but I'm exhausted. I'm ready to go home. My, I'm cleaning up my room. I've got a lot of grading to do today. Tomorrow we have the play and kickball, staff for student kickball game. So there's only going to be about two hours maybe in between that we get to just relax and I may just play Liberty Kids or have them do some makeup work. But I need to go through the work tonight that I want them to make up tomorrow. Um, and then Monday we don't have field day anymore. Field day is now moved to Tuesday afternoon. So. I'm sorry I'm not like looking in the camera. It's probably so unprofessional of me, but you can slowly see like my arm dying. Okay, I'm gonna get going. We're going to dinner and I need to grade the work that I need to grade tonight. So I need to go. Bye. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, June 2nd, and it is kickball day. So I have my Team Amistad shirt on that I got from Ron Clark. I'm very excited to play our fifth graders. It is staff versus fifth grade. All the fifth graders just kick once and then we do the whole like three outs and then we switch, play it normally. But I'm so excited. Today's a Friday and I get to um, see our middle school rhythm club perform tonight. I'm going to have drinks with a friend. It's just going to be overall a really great day. We have our theater performance this morning, so I didn't really even have to plan too much. So this morning we have our theater production at 845. So really instruction this morning is probably just going to be Liberty Kids. After the theater production, we go to lunch and recess. And then after that, we come back for probably about an hour and I'll have my kids finish their math packet. I'll probably put on more Liberty Kids. And then we have our staff for student kickball game at one. And one of our team members isn't gonna be there. <laughs> we might actually lose. I'll let you guys know. I mean, we always win, every year we win. So we probably will win, but like, we need more guys. Like we only have like one guy on our team, which is our PE teacher. Our team, my team teacher has to go out of town. So we're all like freaking out that we might actually lose. Oh, well, it's just the game, right? Wrong. All right. Well, I will come back and let you guys know how it goes after the kickball game. I'm probably going to come back looking at a hot mess because it's going to be 80 degrees outside. Got to drink lots of water and yeah, I'll be back and let you guys know how we did. Good morning. Today is Monday, June 5th. And as you can see, I have Monday hair. When it's poofy like this, because I have showered and not blow dried my hair, it gets poofy, and that's what I call Monday hair, because that's usually when this happens. So today is a little bit of a chaotic day, because it is our last 
full day of school that we actually have things to do, I'm going to have my students make up work, and then we have our red carpet today. So basically, I got the idea three years ago off of Pinterest, where the students, sorry, I'm taking my book back off, where the students walk a red carpet around the school, and thankfully our school is set up like a circle, and you just lay red butcher paper down, and the students just walk in circle, and then go back to their classrooms, and then everybody's in the hallway screaming and yelling, and celebrating so it's really fun we have that to do this afternoon and that did not get planned until last night um, because my principal gave me the okay to do it and it kind of just was one of those things where it's like yeah we're gonna do it let's make it work but Friday was our kickball game and of course staff won however it was the closest scoring game that staff and students have ever had since I've been here and a lot of previous staff members had said the same thing um, at first it was like eight to six and we were losing so then we like had to play the last inning because we were hoping to not have to play because we were hoping to go ahead and be ahead of them. I'm gonna put the camera down. So it was eight to six and then it was tied eight to eight. And once we started making runs, it was nine to six, 10 to six, or nine to eight, 10 to eight, 11 to eight. And that's when we knew we won, like we won already. And then we decided to keep kicking. The staff members did because some of us only got to kick once. So those members that only got to kick once got to kick twice and our students were like so confused. They were like, you're cheating, you're cheating. And we were like, there's 84 of you and you all got to kick, like your whole team got to kick. So our whole team is gonna get to kick. So I don't think they really understood that we were letting all of them kick regardless of outs. Whereas if three outs occurred during the staff member um, kicking, then we had to switch, like it, the inning was over. So they didn't really understand it, which was fine. Um, sadly, my team was probably the least sportsmanship-like character. Um, I don't really have too much to say about that, other than I was really disappointed in my class because they did not show good sportsmanship at all. Um, I had some students, of course, not just being unsportsmanlike with their words, but their actions. And that's what spoke the loudest was their actions. I had one student not even give anyone a high five when we were going through the lines and you like high five your team. I had one student not even high five the staff members. And it's so embarrassing as a teacher to have your students like not show that type of character when you know you've been teaching them that all year long. Um, and it's just a game. Like the students every year think that they're going to beat the staff, but they never do. <laughs> like they never do. I've never known the students to beat the staff. So today is going to be one of those days, like I said, to get makeup work done. I have to enter grades. Grades are due tomorrow. Okay, I gotta get ready for this day. It's almost 7.45. Bye. You wanna know about the best part of the end of the year? I get to throw away all of the papers that we never used. Never had time to go over. Didn't have time to do with them during lessons. It's nice to throw away paper. So I am currently fixing my slow, which previously I've told you it was our student learning objective where we have to choose like an objective to be um, evaluated on. And I met my slow, so I'm fixing my paperwork because I have my meeting tomorrow. I am getting sidetracked because I'm noticing that there's little things here and there that I can clean up and put away and pack up. And <sighs> I just need to sit down and finish grading. Grades are due tomorrow and I need to do that. Uh, we had our red carpet today and it was very successful. Thank you to all the teachers at my school that helped me. Um, and I don't like to take credit for it. It's just an idea that I had and I'm usually just the one that rolls out the paper and kind of delegates, I guess, is what you could say. It's not um, all me. It's definitely our staff that helps me put it together. I don't even think I explained to you guys like what it is. So I found the idea off of Pinterest that I know I mentioned before, and we roll red bulletin board paper out up our intermediate hallway and down our primary hallway, because thankfully our school is set up in a circle or a square, but there is a circle inside the square. <laughs> so I have um, some of my colleagues graciously give up their time to help me tape the paper down so that it doesn't move. And I just ask that I have certain grade levels go at certain times. They wait for me to give them the cue. Our music teacher plays music over the intercom. Um, and it's just a blast. The students are cheering each other on in the hallway. The adults are cheering. And I love it because some of the teachers that have younger sons, younger sons, 
that have sons and daughters in our school will take pictures and like they make crowns devoted to how many steps in reading they read this year and some of those like second graders like they were really high up there um like six and seven hundreds like that's awesome so thankfully it's done and when it was done i was sweating so bad it got really hot um we finished right before 2 30 i think we finished at 2 25 on the dot and i just asked everyone to go back to their classes and they packed up and we sent the kids home so it was a great end of the day um kind of stressful for me but i that's only because i just want to make sure everything's um timed right so i'm gonna get back to grading i'm done my slow i'm done figuring out what i need to do tomorrow we have our rhythm club coming to perform tomorrow as a surprise for our students and then it is field day so i have some things like i have one student who needs to finish some work and then the other students are probably just going to watch aladdin we found aladdin on youtube and that's what just we're gonna do yeah i can't believe like it's the end of the year all and like all my kids want to help me but i don't have anything for them to do like I know what I need to get done. I basically, and I, it's to keep things organized that I don't want them, it's not that I don't want them involved, but I need to put my stuff away. I need to go to the dollar store and buy some more bins. Tomorrow, I think I'm going to start putting stuff away, and my students love to help, and I just don't have any specific things that I can allow them to help me on. Like, I know that's sad, and I know that's weird. Like, but come on, oh my gosh, I'm looking at my students' desks and some of them are completely cleared and then some others are like, come on, take your stuff home, people. Oh my gosh, okay, that just set me off. All right, I'm gonna go finish grading. Bye guys.